Aksha will take up the working capital part and uh, right now I'll give you an overview of the business loan products. Is my screen visible? Can someone please confirm? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so these are the basic... Uh, so business loan is the is an EMI based collateral free loan. Uh, we have again we do not uh, do not ask for any property collateral and we have very simplified documentation. Uh, when the loan is processed digitally, uh, the minimum loan amount offered is fifty thousand and maximum is uh, twenty lakh. And when it is done physically, minimum it is three lakhs and maximum is seventy five lakhs. Tenure is up to three years and for doctors, we offer tenure up to five years. Uh, the this is the basic eligibility uh, for business loan. First is uh, business vintage where uh, we ask minimum three years for S, uh, from SENP that is self-employed non-professionals. And we ask minimum two years from doctors and minimum five years from other uh, self-employed professions, that is others, other SEP. Next is either the office or the res residence is to be owned by the borrower. And uh, third is turnover, where if the borrower is a uh, existing customer of the bank, that is existing to bank customers, we ask for 30 lakhs of turnover. And if the borrower is uh, a new customer, it is NTB. Then if the borrower belongs to trading and manufacturing industry, uh, we ask for one crore of turnover. And if they belong to a service industry, we ask for 60 lakhs of turnover. Uh, the borrower needs to have a minimum 5 lakhs of net worth in the current year. Next is these are the basic features of business loan. That is, we do not ask for any collateral. Uh, we have flexible repayment options. Uh, we offer competitive pricing and we have higher tenure for doctors and for CAs. First is digital base. These are the, uh, now we'll start with the variance, the programs of business loan. First is digital base. Here we identify high potential ETB that is existing to bank customers on the basis of their bureau track records and, the, and we have some internal bank filters. There are two types of journeys in this uh, digital base. That is STP, that is straight through process where no documentation is required. And then next is NSTP, that is not straight through process where we require documents depending on the case of the borrower. And digital base includes the CASA base, top up, micro BL, BL2CC. Uh, then the minimum loan amount offered here is 50,000 and maximum is 20 lakhs and uh, tenure is up to four years and the basic checks are the average bank balance of the borrower is checked and the financial health of the business is checked. Next is the uh, next program is banking surrogate. Again, uh, it it requires very minimal documentation and uh, you know we you don't we don't ask for any additional financial statements to avail the loan the eligibility is calculated on the basis of the uh, average bank balance of the borrower uh, the maximum loan amount offered here is 50 lakhs uh, tenure is up to 3 years and again uh, business vintage is 3 years uh, gst uh, here the loan is offered on the basis of the GST returns of the borrower. It is collateral free and very minimal documentation. Maximum 25 lakhs of loan amount can be offered under this program. Uh, tenure is up to three years and business vintage is minimum three years. Next is ITR program. Here the loan, loan is offered on the basis of the income tax returns of the borrowers. And the maximum amount, loan amount offered here is 15 lakhs. And ABB is to EMI ratio is 1.5 is to 1. And we need a minimum 3 lakhs of business income. Next is SEP program, that is self-employed professional program. Here the loan is offered on the basis of the banking statements of the borrower. 
the SCP pro the self employed professions include doctors, CACS, ICWA, architects, engineers, uh, BDS, MDS. Uh, doctors having an MBBS or a higher degree are only eligible for this loan. Uh, then the maximum loan amount offered here is 75 lakhs, which is only offered to doctors. Then maximum uh, loan amount offered to CAs is 35 lakhs. And other professionals apart from doctors and CAs, to them we can offer maximum of 20 lakhs. Then tenure is uh, to doctors, we offer up to three years. And apart from doctors, uh, uh, we offer up to three years. Uh, sorry, to doctors, we up offer up to five years. And to other professionals, we offer up to three years. Uh, here, again, business vintage for doctors, we ask minimum two years. And apart from doctors, every SCP has to need to have minimum five years of business vintage. Next is doctor degree program. Here the loan is offered on the basis of the degree of the doctor. The doctor needs to have a degree of MBBS or higher. Other than that, no documentation is required. The ABB is to EMI ratio is 1.5 is to 1. And the minimum loan amount offered here is 5 lakhs and maximum is 20 lakhs. Tenor is up to 5 years. And here Unlike other programs, we look for practice vintage of the doctors. The practice vintage should be minimum three years. Next is SENP income program. This is self-employed non-professionals income program. Uh, self-employed non-professionals include traders, manufacturers, retailers, wholesalers and service industry. Uh, the maximum loan amount offered here is 75 lakhs. Min, uh, ABB is to EMI ratio needs to be minimum 1 is to 1. Again, the business vintage is minimum three, uh, 3 years and the loan tenor is also 3 years. Uh, this, is, this is an overview of the business loan products. Uh, now we can take up working capital and then we can uh, you know, have a Q&A session about the SBB products. Anshu, are you there? Yeah. Hi everyone. Okay. Start displaying my screen. I'll walk you through our product offerings under SBB. And so, first of all, what is SBB? When we say SBB, it means small business banking. Before I walk you through our uh, product suit. Who's our target audience? Whom are we giving loans to? What are we giving loans for? I'll walk you through every single thing, every single doubt that you have regarding SPB. And if you have any questions, once we are done with the PPT, you can ask us. But this is our business structure. Business is headed by Vijay Shetty. This is our reporting structure. Now USPs of SBB. Why SBB? Why should people avail loan from SBB? So we offer hassle free customer experiences. We offer simple and minimum documentation. At the same time, we finance short term as well as long term needs of the customers. We have secured and unsecured products. Under secured products, we go up to 5 crores. Under unsecured products, we go up to 75 lakhs. Uh, please pay attention to this slide. So whom do we cater to? Whom are we giving loans to? We give loans to uh, segments where the turnover is up to 30 crore. So between 30 lakhs to 30 crore, that is where we give loans. Uh, we offer loans to company constitution. We offer it to individuals, proprietorship firms, partnership firms, LLPs, private limited companies, one person companies, unlisted public companies, trust in society as well. Then we cater to the self-employed segment, professional as well as unpro uh, non-professionals. So when we say self-employed, non-professional, there are people like manufacturers, retail traders, wholesalers, service providers. When we say self-employed professional, there are people like doctors, people who hold MBBS degrees, architects, CAs, engineers. They are our target audience. Then what are we giving loans for? 
we gave loans for general business expansion purposes day to day operations for meeting inventory requirement for purchase of plant and machinery and we facilitate import and export as well uh, please pay attention to this slide this is the basic eligibility norm for sbb they remain almost same throughout our product offerings first is constitution we have already talked about it individuals proprietorship partnership etc then turnover as i already told you uh, business turnover from 30 lakhs to 30 crore we serve to them age norms secured for secured products age norm is 21 to 70 years for unsecured 24 to 65 years business vintage 3 years in the current business then residence and office stability residence 12 months or office 24 months please note this is an either or situation either the uh, resident has to be stable for 12 months or the office has to be stable for 24 months uh, point number 6 is ownership uh, again it is an either or situation either the office or the resident has to be owned uh, talking about income norms for proprietorship and individuals itr income of 2.5 lakhs for the past 2 years for partnership llp and company cash profit of 3 lakhs for the past 2 years then acceptable properties under working capital we are providing secured as well as unsecured product for secured products we are taking collateral from the customers point number 8 describes the wide range of acceptable properties that we take for collaterals we take residential property commercial property industrial property factory godowns uh, and everything that is listed under point 8 forward these uh, this is our product suite what do we offer under sbb we offer a secured product cc od term loan merchant loan all these products i'll be explaining in the coming four slides we have unsecured products where not where we are not asking the customer for collateral we have merchant loan business loan quick overdraft do uh, equipment finance then we also cater to government schemes uh, so government of india from time to time comes up with schemes to support the msme segment and since we cater to and we focus on the msme segment we provide loans under so many government schemes then we have corporate linked businesses or supply chain finance as it is called and we also provide trade products products like lc bg ler bill discounting etc so first i'll walk you through our fund based product offerings these are all secured products when we say secured we are saying we are asking the customer for collateral so firstly i'll explain what is cc what is od how are they two different and how does it work so cc od are limit given to borrowers to meet their working capital requirements now you'll ask me what's the difference between cc and od in od we only ask for property uh, property collateral entire limit which is given to a borrower can be utilized in cc along with the primary security along with the property collateral we also ask for primary security of stock and book debts and there is a concept of dp or drawing power so every single quarter so four times in a year we ask the customer for the primary security and basis this primary security drawing power is set and every single quarter the customer can only utilize the drawing power talking about loan amount uh, for audited financials loan amount goes from 10 lakh to 5 crores for unaudited financial loan amount goes from 10 lakh to 40 lakhs tenor it is renewable every 12 months uh, both the products are given uh, for 12 months and then they are renewable interest rate is floating and linked to repo rate moving forward features of ccod ltv is up to 100% ltv is loan to value ratio then there are no commitment charges pricing is competitive and interest is only on utilization not on the entire sanctioned amount when we say interest is only on utilization i will explain this with an example say suppose i have given a customer a loan of 100 lakhs and the customer is only utilizing 70 lakhs so we will be charging the customer interest only for 70 lakhs that the customer is utilized and not for the entire 100 lakh that was sanctioned then we have two variants of overdraft firstly we talked about cc and od od the first one was a financial od where the assessment is done basis the 
balance sheet and the PNL that the customer provides us. Both this variants that we'll be talking about, they are banking surrogate products where the assessment is done a bit differently. We do not ask the customer for their financials. First is secured quick OD. So, uh, so here it is an overdraft facility based on the banking conduct. We are not asking the customer for their financials. Then we have GST based OD. It is an overdraft facility based on the uh, GST return. We ask the customer for the past 12 months GST return. We are not asking them for their financials. Loan amount. For SQOD, loan amount goes from 10 lakh to 1.5 crore. For GST OD, loan amount goes from 10 lakh to 1.5 crore. Tenor, uh, renewable every 12 months. Interest rate is floating and linked to repo rate. Then the features, as we already talked about, we're not asking the customer for their balance sheet and PNL. Uh, assessment is done basis the banking conduct and GST return. Interest is only on the utilization and not on the entire sanctioned amount. Then secure term loan. We all know what is term loan. So I'll tell you under SBB what are we giving term loans for? So we give term loan for purchase of machinery, commercial or residential property purchase for medical equipment purchase for industrial equipment purchase or for general business expansion purposes. Talking about loan amount, loan amount goes from 10 lakh to 5 crores for audited financials. For unaudited financial, it goes from 10 lakh to 60 lakhs. Tenor is up to 15 years. Interest rate is floating and linked to repo rate. As I told you, loan amount is up to 5 crore, but on case to case basis, we go up to 10 crores as well. Then we have the features of secured term loan. Uh, we have flexible repayment options available. Tenor is up to 15 years. LTV is up to 100%. Pricing is competitive. Now we have two variants of term loan available with us. First, we have secured quick term loan. We already know the purpose of a term loan. So we'll talk about how is the assessment done when we say it is a variant. So SQTL, these are long term loan given for business purposes based on the banking conduct. The assessment is done based on the banking behavior that the customer maintains with us. We're not asking the customer for their financials. Then LRD or lease rental discounting. It is loan extended to a borrower on hypothecation of their rentals on commercial property. Uh, I'll explain it. Uh, say suppose uh, I have a property. Uh, I have a pro commercial property I and mean, I rented it out to McDonald's or some other MNC. So the rent that I'm getting from that MNC basis that monthly rental I can get a term loan. That is what LRD is. Talking about loan amount. Uh, for SQTL, loan amount is 10 lakh to 2 crores. Uh, for lease rental discounting, loan amount is 10 lakh to 5 crores. Tenor is up to 15 years. Interest rate is floating and linked to repo rate. Also, uh, in LRD, na, LRD again. Yes. Do you want me to uh, explain again? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'll tell you. Say, suppose I have a uh, commercial property and I've landed it out to an MNC. OK, so first point that we'll be looking out is the commercial. The property has to be commercial. Then we'll look out and make sure who's the lease in this property. Who are we lending it out to? So in our example, in Axis Bank's uh, LRD, if we are lending it out to a MNC. Uh, the list is defined. If I am lending it out to them month on month, I'm receiving the rent. Basis the rental, hypothecation will be done, and I'll be given a uh, term loan. Was I able so to answer you, Kari? Loan to owner. We'll give to a loan to land uh, commercial owner. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, a question, sir. Hello? Please go. This is the property where we get the property. Where we get the property where we get the property. Where we get the Bank, 
अच्छा मतलब पूरा बिल्डिंग का अगर मान लीजिए पांच पांच मंजिल है तो उसका ग्राउंड फ्लोर में ग्राउंड फ्लोर का रेंट मिल रहा है तो सिर्फ ग्राउंड फ्लोर का लेंगे कि या पूरा बिल्डिंग का लेंगे लेट मी चेक एंड आई विल गेट बैक टू यू आप मुझे अपना एम्प्लॉय आईडी बता दो 401130 जैसा आप लोग अभी मुझे पूछ रहे थे सो ऐसे सपोज रेंटल इज थ्री लैक्स तो वो थ्री लैक्स का सिक्सटी परसेंट ही हम दे सकते हैं एज लोन दैट इज वॉट वी मीन वेन वी से एल टी वी then a uh, secured merchant loan so what is merchant loan first we'll talk about who's a merchant uh, let's make this session interactive uh, who's a merchant as per you kirana store or the retail yes. store outlets so every single business out, owner out there who has an edc machine who is selling as a good or a service is a merchant so we give loans to merchant so it is a facility given to merchant base is the average edc swipe we all go to mer- merchants we buy products from them and the payment that we do is uh, given the, the payment that we do we do it in the form of a machine swipe we the pay via credit card debit card or a prepaid card so basis all this receivable that the merchant is give, uh, getting we give them a loan that is what merchant loan is uh, under merchant loan we give uh, overdraft drop line overdraft and term loan as well talking about loan amount under secured merchant loan we go up to 2.5 crore we also give unsecured merchant loan where we are not asking the customer for collaterals for unsecured merchant loan we go up to 50 lakhs uh, tenor for overdraft it is renewable every 12 months for drop line overdraft and term loan 12 to 60 months interest rate is floating and linked to repo rate features there are no commitment charges pricing is competitive ltv is up to 100% interest is only on the utilization amount and not on the entire sanctioned amount and then we have fund based un- yes please ma'am ye merchant ka jo edc machine ka hum logo ka hi hona hoga kya dusre bank ka bhi ho agar hoga to wahan se hum log le edc machine access ka hona chahiye wo to apna rule hai दूसरा अच्छा, नाम अच्छा. हम कंटेंजेंसी के लिए एक और मशीन अलाउ करते हैं जस्ट इन केस एक्सेस का मशीन इज नॉट वर्किंग सो द मर्चेंट कैन हैव टू मशीन्स वन एक्सेस मशीन एंड वन मशीन व्हेन एक्सेस मशीन इज नॉट वर्किंग एक्सेप्शन टू दिस इज एन अमेरिकन एक्सप्रेस मशीन पर वो एक्सेप्शन है मर्चेंट कैन हैव टू मशीन वन एक्सेस मशीन इज मैंडेटरी एंड देन वन अनदर बैंक मशीन जस्ट इन केस आर मशीन इज नॉट वर्किंग ओके Okay. What is drop line overdraft? Uh, drop line overdraft. So drop line overdraft is an overdraft facility given for a tenor of thirty six months, where every single month the amount drops. Like outstanding whatever they have. Uh, the limit that we are setting uh, month on month that drops. a uh, fund based unsecured products we have unsecured drop line quick od so these are small ticket size loans given to meet the financial requirements or the working capital requirements of self employed segment uh, here the assessment is uh, it is based on banking conduct and financials are taken only for higher ticket size loans when i say higher ticket size it is 30 to 50 lakhs loan amount 15 to 50 lakhs so from 15 lakhs to 30 lakhs we are not asking the customer for their financials from 30 lakhs to 50 lakhs we ask the customer for their financials as well tenor 36 months interest rate is floating and linked to repo rate features uh, collateral free loan we are not asking the customer for any collateral uh, assessment is done basis banking conduct financials are taken only for higher ticket size audited financials are mandatory only drop line variant is available 
We have non-fund based products as well. We have LC. It is an it is issued by a bank to serve as a guarantee for payment. Then we have BG, which is issued by a bank that the liabilities of a debtor will be met. Uh, that was all that we give under uh, working capital loans. If you have any questions, please ask us. If you have any question related to working capital loans or business, we'll take it up. We are giving to loan the startup. Uh, we are giving to loan the startup. Uh, see, uh, we uh, cater to a few government schemes that I told you about. So we do not give loans to startup, but under a few government schemes, schemes like Stand Up India, we do give loans to startups as well. Stand Up India, India is one of our government schemes where we uh, fund startups. Startup India. Stand Up India. Stand Up India. Okay. Yes. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, like. Uh, in 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 my location, there is no such team for 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 with whom I could refer. If I even if I source uh, such leads, then from where from where shall I process such leads? Uh, hi, because I have... Surely, uh, let me know your location, and I'll tell you if uh, SBB exists over there or not. Silchar, Silchar Assam. Uh... Because in our branch, in our lo in in this locality, we don't have any business loan team, as far as my knowledge is concerned. So, Shweta, will you take this up? Indrajit, I'll do one thing. We have one spot in the east of India. Let me check with them. I'll ask them if SBB is present in Silchar or not. Uh, you just let me know your employee ID and I'll uh, get back to you. 401035. Okay, I'll get back to you. I'll check and I'll uh, tell you. Guess deck to very understand uh, after that. Uh, Ankit, do you want to ask us something? I can see that you're on. Uh, I'm just asking that can we get this deck to uh, uh, I'll, help? I'll uh, do one thing. Uh, I'll uh, provide you a one pager of all our uh, product offerings from uh, Working Cap. I think that would be sufficient. So I'll give it to Rinku. He'll pass it on to all of you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Anshu, if they have any queries, you can please share your uh, official mail ID or employer code. We can get touch with you. So if you have any so, queries, you can write to us at sbb.solution. Sbb.solution. I'll leave this email ID in the chat box. Sure. Sure. Yeah, thank you so much, Sanshu. We have next. Uh, Arindu, can you mute yourself? Yeah, Anshu has already given the email in the chat box. Please, the chat box, please make a note. Thank you so much once again, Anshu.